welcome to Touchline on Carnegie Challenge Cup semi-final weekend. Leeds take on Castleford and for the fourth time this season, St Helens face Wigan. And then Sean, do you ever get bored of all this derby chat? <laughs> Is that a real question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I get bored of asking the same question all the time, but no, I don't get bored of the derbies. I think the um, special games and this week especially with, with the prize being to go to, go to Wembley. It's, probably one of the most intense ones we've played in recently. And as it's the fourth time they've met this season, we're going to all too aware of the threat posed by their opponents. I think that they've been buoyed by the fact that Leon Price is coming back and when you get an international like him coming back in your team, that's always going to give you a lot of confidence. But also when you've got a player like James Roby, who I think is one of the most standout players in the competition, I mean, he touches the ball more than anyone and uh, he's a fantastic attacking weapon for them. So we know if we get, we have to be here, very spot on with our defence because you can't give a bloke like him too much room. Mind you, the sides drew last time out on neutral territory, that was in Cardiff, and since then Wigan have been successful on both occasions. Would Saints settle for that if they could win this weekend semi? 100% yeah, yeah. like I say, we, you try and win every game you play in, but obviously Challenge Cup semi-finals are a bit more a bit more special and hopefully we can, we can get it right this week because uh, Wigan, Wigan are a great side and, and they look really well coached and like I said it's going to take a bit to beat them but I, I, think, I think we can do it. Really excited, looking forward to it, uh, you know they'll, you know obviously it's a sell out, um, uh, be a lot of uh, atmosphere there, I mean that's why you play footy, you play footy to compete in games like this. Now they say there's nothing worse than losing a semi-final which means it must be better to lose at Wembley. Is that right, Kev? Didn't enjoy it last year, didn't enjoy the, uh, the cup final at all. And, uh, that's all to do with getting stuffed, by the way. It's, you know, it, weren't, it weren't nice, it weren't pleasant. Sorry we asked. Leeds, of course, face Castleford, which pits Rob Burrow against his hometown club. And I am a proud Cast lad, you know, I've always, always made that, met people aware that I'm you know, chuffed to come from Cast. But I've always been a Leeds fan and, and always want to play for Leeds, so uh, there's certainly no split loyalties, um, just the fact that I live there. Well, the bookies have made Leeds the favourites for the game at the keep moat in Doncaster, and that's absolutely fine by the Tigers. I don't think we've ever been favourites for many games, to be honest. Uh, people write us off left, right and centre, and uh, we don't mind it. Um, I, I, I don't think there's any added pressure that comes with being underdogs or anything like that. There's probably nothing on us, and uh, we just look forward to our, uh, doing our stuff right and getting things right, and uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure I'll be fine. And, uh, Leave the, leave the favourites tag to Leeds if they want it, they're more than welcome to it. Well, Castleford's Danny Orr would love to get his hands on the trophy, but superstition prevents that happening just yet. Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty special, you know, winning this would it'd be everything to me. Um, you know, I can't touch it, it's a bit of a superstition I've got, but um, yeah, it's as close as I'd like to be, but um, yeah, I'd love to be a little bit closer um, on come final day. Well, for more on the build-up to this weekend's Carnegie Challenge Cup semi-finals, just search online for SLTV. Bye for now.